okay, so just a quick one, hopefully. <laughs> um, so I made a little shaker, uh, and well, pocket. I've turned a junk, one of these junk mail bill envelopes into a shaker pocket um, for hashtag shaker Sunday, which is hosted by Kathy's favorite things. Um, and I'm just going to quickly run through how I did it. Okay, so there's that. I'll put that to the side. So, first of all, I just trimmed this. Doesn't have to be like super exact because I'm going to be covering it with papers anyway. Um, <clears throat> and then I just cut it open. And the other side. Okay, so we've got it laying flat now. And then what I did first of all is some glue, make sure that it sticks down nice, nicely. So I just went round the window with foam tape. And the only thing is just making sure that they join up so that you don't get any of your little sequins uh, escaping. But this is so super duper simple to make. And I think that it looks really pretty. I think. I think it does. And then for this last one, I'm just going to... Like so. And then... Ooh, I also did a line here and a line here to separate the pocket and then I did a line here and a line here all of the foam just to lift up the uh, The pocket but also to def to uh, to divide the um the pocket here that i'm going to be using from this So that is that and then while that is drying a little bit so I want the backing piece I want it to be like a um, pretty not patterned or busy so that you can see the like shaker pieces a bit more so I thought the back of this bit was perfect because it's just pink. So I'm just going to roughly measure that up. 
to size. Yep, that will fit. As long as it fits over and it doesn't encroach in your pocket space there, it's fine. Um, <clears throat> okay, and then I roughly measured out these bits. I want it going that way, I think. So I'm just cutting this 12 by 12 in half. And I'm going to glue it down to that to the back there it doesn't matter that this bit's peeking out because we're going to trim that anyway so yeah just whack a load of glue on there or double sided tape whatever your preference is as long as it stays in place I guess and I'm just going to try and line it up as much as I can and then I'm going to open it up so that I can properly smooth it down without uh, without bothering this too much bothering it that side and then what I'm going to do ooh, is I'm going to trim off this bit the next bit I did was I just measured here So we want it and then I drew a little line uh, a little line there and then So I've measured how far from the edge this one is and this one. And then I'm going from the bottom actually, I think. I'm going from the bottom and measuring the bottom line and the top line. Um, just going to... Draw out the rectangle for me to cut. Like so. And then all I did, whoop, all I did was I kind of gently bent it, cut into it. So that I could get in there with my scissors. I mean, there we go. There's that. And then I am going to glue it on. 
so I'm going to clear on there. And I'm going to try and line it up best I can with the bottom and with the window. Like so. And then I'm going to open it up. And... Sure, all the bits are glued properly. Just trim this side. Like so. Right, and then I think I'm going to add my sequins so I'm not going to put too many in because I like the way that it sounds when there's not too many I think if you overstuff it then it doesn't make that nice shaker sound so a few of the flowers and then I got sent these like in the mail that I got these cute butterflies but I thought that they were they worked really well with the flowers so a few of those in and then I'm going to hold the envelope down while I take the rest of the backing off of the tape just so that those shaker bits don't uh, come out don't try and escape but I've done it this way round because I didn't want the shaker bits sticking on the tape. <sighs> Glue the top on here, I think, first. So I'm going to pop a line of glue around. And then I'm going to kind of go over it with my finger just so it doesn't squash out the edges and create a sticky place for the sequins to hide. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to put the card that I cut before. I'm just going to place over. Like so. Then I'm going to glue up the rest. and close back up my envelope and just smooth that out okay and there we go I mean that's got a kind of vellum window but that's okay and then I'm going to trim up the top here. Okay. 
Okay. And then for the rest of it, what I did was um, I just went around the edge there. Like so, and then I did a belly band with the, I don't like that paper on that, I have got some more of this striped paper, so I just folded either side of a strip of paper. glued either side on the tab and then I just kind of popped it underneath the window like so I cut a thing so that you know that that's a pocket up there and then I don't think that this really goes on the back I like the paper but I might use yeah I think I use this one so I just cut another rectangle To add as a side pocket there and what I'm going to do is snip the corners off and I'm going to just do a little fold on three of the edges and that is just so that the pocket has a bit more space in it to fit stuff in so I've just folded those three and again I'm going to put a little notch in there and then I'm going to glue those three tabs that I just made away there okay and then I decorated it I fussy cut some of the hearts out to decorate the other pocket I think I'm going to go with these little sweeties this one so I found that the thing with fussy cutting so just cutting around an image is you move the paper not the scissors and that's how you get a successful cut Maybe 
this big stripey heart would be good. Okay, okay. Pop that on there. And I'm going to go for this bigger sweet. Yellow would look quite nice on this one actually. Okay, they are sticky ones, but I don't trust anything that comes pre sticky. So I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on there as well for some extra, extra stick. So that is it. You've got the little shaker window. I mean, unfortunately, this one's vellum -y. I mean, you can see this shaker window a, a lot better. But, um, but you've got your little pocket there, and then you've got a, a pocket up here. And that's all from like one of the window envelopes you get for bills and junk mail and things so make sure that you save save those up and you can make yourself some pretty shaker window pockets or envelopes or whatever you feel like doing um I think they turned out super pretty I don't know about you whether what do you guys think um, okay so so that's it um, if you want to join in with Shaker Sunday just hashtag Shaker Sunday and make sure you tag the lovely host and um, <clears throat> yeah thank you so much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Love you. Bye.